What's up, Supreme? How are you doing, buddy? Are you doing okay? Jean Paul, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Leroy, goeie avond. What's up, Alexi? Chan, Jody. Oh, now you're popping in all of, all of a sudden, all together. Uh, I'm doing great. I'm well. Uh, I'm doing good. Yeah. Thank you very much for asking, though. Uh, what's up, Finny? Welcome. Let's, uh, you know, today I wanted to, it's, it's going great, Andy. Thank you very much. Um, talk about a bank. I wanted to talk to you guys about a bank and what to do after the update. Umer, uh, what up? How are you doing? I'm doing great. You know, today I wanted to talk to you guys about what to do with the bank, with the new update. You know, a lot of us have a bank and, um, Nobody talked about it yet, right? A lot changed. You unlock what pets already? Well, I'm not in my main account today. I'm in my bank. Or, you know, uh, Missy and I started a bank a couple weeks ago. And, yeah, we're basically building on that. And I was wanting to talk to you guys about how to do that. Uh, since I don't have any experience, um, I just think, I just want to ask you guys whether you agree or not you know stuff like that and maybe take some of your suggestions about how to build a bank and stuff like that all right no 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 the winner isn't isn't there yet uh andy um andy asked about whether the winner for the giveaway account is there yet so for you guys that haven't seen it i posted a video yesterday um tomorrow no not tomorrow sorry coming saturday uh, the 23rd, I'm going to give it away on my live stream. So make sure you're there, that you um, have subscribed, and that you have put your name in the comment, either your in-game name or your YouTube name. But you have to be a um, subscriber. And this is the account I built myself for you guys from the ground up, uh, everything. So a little gift in there, a, few, a couple gifts in there for you all to enjoy. Um, just make sure you watch that video um, after the stream, maybe. So yeah, Jody, you got your firewall plate to purple, all right? Well, congratulations. That's nice. That's nice. Um, is a bank a must-have? Um, and Leroy and Nikki, um, the bank is a must-have for me and Missy for the simple reason that I burn through so many resources right now that I cannot. I'm not willing to pay for those resources, and paying means that. I cannot gather fast enough, and I'm a very active player. You guys know that. Um, I cannot gather fast enough. Don't want to be dependent on other people. I also want to contribute to the guild. Um, so this bank is for me and Missy. It's that simple. And we started this account a couple days ago, and um, I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, all the stuff that changed with the monster updates, what you need to focus on, which monsters you want to tame first. Um... Also assuming that you're not doing a lot of research, except for the stuff that is necessary, uh, how many troops, etc, etc. So, what's up Spencer? How are you doing? How are you doing? Thank you for uh, joining the stream. So, let's first get Trickster up a little bit further. Uh, as you can see, we're only focusing on Trickster for now to, you know, get our researches done. Uh, we're going to get him to gold instantly. The rest we're just going to leave like this. Um, well, Leroy, it, it's fine if uh, somebody who doesn't speak English asks me in Dutch. I'll just translate. But I would appreciate it if you can speak English that you do in chat and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, uh, I would appreciate that. Thank you very much. If you cannot speak English, it's fine. You know, no worries. I'll translate. But if I have to translate like 50% of the chat, that's not really working. Um, so, yeah. Um, so... The, everybody knows how to build a bank, right? Do you want me to go over the basics of a bank? Um, what do you guys think? Should I go over the basics of a bank? We could do a quick little rundown if you guys want. <sighs> mm. 
Let's see. Mm, well, I'll just go ahead and do a little rundown of the bank. So what we did uh, to begin with with this bank was basically build the stuff necessary, um, the stuff necessary to unlock castle level 16, and you know uh, just build one barrack. Um, I have built some infirmaries here. Uh, why is that? Basically because we needed to unlock you know all the parts of your castle, all the turfs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to destroy uh, these two. I can do that as we speak. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't need them anymore because I'm not building troops. There are no troops in here except for one. What's up, Vegeta? How are you doing? Thank you for joining the stream. Um, I don't know if you have any experience with a, uh, with a bank, uh, Vegeta, but you might want to, if you do, you know, you might want to contribute since you're a YouTuber as well. And uh, yo, what's up? DS19 full and give your two cents basically uh, about what well, you know what, what we're doing here because I haven't built a bank before I know the basics um, so what we've done uh, and, and we know what we want so what we want is a mixed account we want it to produce ore we want to produce wood food stuff like that and mostly gold because I'm mostly shy in gold and food but you know all the other resources are running out as well um, Let's see, 30% well, of the time people don't even know what this bank is for, so starting from the basics is the way to go. All right, so um, that's a that's a good good one, Umer. I'll start from the beginning. I have a main account. My main account is roughly about 350 million. Um, I am statistic-wise not one of the biggest killers there is, but if you have a look at the amount of kills I have over the last couple of months, I think I rank way up there. I think I have like in, in three months, I have like 50 million kills, 55 million kills, roughly around that number in less than three months. So I think that's, you know, to me, that's pretty impressive at my might level. Um, so what happens, you burn through troops, you burn through resources. So you push some troops and you um, have to have resources for that. And I can tell you one thing for sure, T4s are hella expensive, like really expensive. And there is no way you can gather uh, enough to keep up with a killing spree so since i am constantly asking uh, i noticed that i needed to start asking people for help and resources and i don't want to do that i like sharing and, and of course you can ask every once in a while while you're in in kvk you know but i don't want to ask for resources constantly i don't want to be that guy you know i want to be non-dependent on other people and the resources I'm mainly talking about, to me, are uh, gold, uh, stone, and w uh, food. So, I noticed that I ran short, since Missy is very close to reaching T4s herself. We're going to need a lot of resources, right? And so, that's why we're building an alternative account, like a second account. Which is basically going to function as our bank. So, what we can do is we can either hop on to the guild that the bank is in and basically trade resources real quick back and forth um, or we can do it the other way around let the bank in to our guild and basically send resources from our guild so everything you're doing in this um, everything you're doing in this uh, castle is basically focused on uh, building as much resources as you can and basically making sure that the um, the transfer that you have to pay, like you pay tax every time you transfer uh, stuff from one account to another is as minimal as possible. So that should be your focus, right? And usually like every guild has a bank, but that's a guild bank. I'm not talking about a guild bank because a guild bank basically only receives leftover stuff, right? Um, and since I am burning more troops than I can uh, basically uh, build with the resources I either gather or produce in my main account. I need to be independent, so to speak, and uh, build a resource account together with Missy. So, yeah. So that's why uh, we're building a bank. Let's see. There's a bank, but uh, food is rapidly depleting. Yes, yes, yes. Um... Well, then you probably have troops in it. 
or is it just because people need it or ask for it? Um, I think that a bank should only give to people that also gather, right? There are a lot of people that just play war and don't gather. It's fine if you play war and want to sacrifice your troops for the guild, but you know those people also need to gather. It's it's a this is a complete game. It's not just go out fighting, have all the fun, and the other people need to donate to the bank to basically you know uh, compensate for him having fun um, and or protecting you, as a lot of people would say. It's a lame excuse. I think you should uh, um, you know. Uh, I think it's something that doesn't add anything to a guild. Uh, yes, the bank should have troops. Or let me rephrase, one troop. One troop only. And why is that? Otherwise, you cannot shelter your leader. If I dismiss this troop, so let's do that. Uh, let's dismiss this one grunt I have. And let's then try to shelter my leader. So I have now zero troops, none. Let's shelter my leader for 12 hours. Can't. See? So, uh, always build one troop in here. And doesn't matter what it is. Right? Just a tier one troop. So there you go. That way you can shelter your leader. Um, then you don't need to shelter. But the bank is always shielded. No. Uh, no, my bank is not always shielded. Because I am on... Uh, on a daily basis. Uh, the guild this uh, bank is sitting in is not active enough to have a 24-hour shield constantly. So um, we only have one one troop and we're gonna empty it out each and every day. So Missy and I are both gonna use this account and on day one she can use it, on day two I can use it, and day three she can use it, day four I can use it, right? Sort of, sort of in that way. Um, we might shield depending on depending on the amount it produces. It already produces, but you know the guild itself that the account is sitting in is not producing enough gems on a weekly basis to invest. You know that amount, so it's easier for me to just drop guild, transfer transfer the resources, and go back to my own guild or vice versa, right? Um, um, you have to see the difference, guys, between um, uh, a bank, a guild bank, where there's usually a lot more resources in there. Yes, that needs to shield 24-7. But that um, that bank is always in the uh, main guild that it provides resources for. So that usually produces more gems on a daily basis. Like in CAE, I get way over a thousand gems just by monster gifts or pack purchases so that's easy enough to do but this uh this personal bank does not it's, it's sitting in an alternative guild a guild for alts and it does not this guild does not produce enough gems on a daily basis for me to buy that so i'm not investing anything because it's not necessary right so this is a personal bank see the difference between a guild bank and a personal bank so this is a personal bank okay going to put his are you going to put this bank? Uh, how close is it? It's very close. So, yeah. We have a new subscriber. Who is it? It's Jody. Jody, welcome. Oh, donate it? What? What? Jody, did you donate? Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you very much. You are my first. You are my first uh, donator. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Wow. That's cool. Awesome. All right. Uh, now say if you were to move like 2 billion of each resource or so, what would you go? And I know with gold, it's easy to transfer. So what would you go about it with gold? It's easy to transfer. I don't know what you're talking about now, uh, Fujita. Sorry. Uh, because I don't let it get that far. I think my main account is big enough and burns through enough resources a day. To make sure that this bank continues to be empty constantly. So I don't need to shield it. Thank you very much, Jody. I appreciate that very, very, very much. That is awesome. Yeah. So your name is going across the screen. That's awesome. So uh, on the top right, if you can see it. Uh, I don't. I, I can't see it because my screen is small. But thank you very much. Um, so one troop, yes. Um... What I'm doing here is I'm just building mixed uh, 
mixed buildings. I have some ore, I have wood, I have um, stone and food. So yeah. Yeah, it's not easy to do, is it? <laughs> I know. Uh, it, it should be easier because I just unlocked, thanks to you guys, I unlocked Super Chat. I still need to figure out how that works. It's basically where YouTube uh, gives you the option for easy donations. Uh, but I still need to figure out how that works. Um, but that's thanks to you guys because I can only unlock that at 8,000 subscribers. So thank you very much to you all. Right, Mohammed, but isn't just attacking the bank to get RSS better because of the taxes? Uh, yes, could be. Yep. Uh, but it also depends on what kind of kingdom you're in. Yes, I can attack the bank very easy. Um, and yes, that would avoid taxes, but that would also put me in fury. And today we've seen probably three or four times uh, 500 million might players getting zeroed in our kingdom because of quad rallies. So if you want to take that chance, sure, you can. I agree with you. It's it's better just to attack it. But right now, I don't think we're in that safe zone where we can, right? So there you go. Attacking is 30% tax. So more. Is that true? I, I, I didn't know, Leroy. I didn't know. Can you uh, accept me into your guild for one week so I can get better gifts and see how you run it and looking to speed up my research? <laughs> Sorry, Brian Perez. <laughs> no. Um... I can't say no or yes to, to such questions because I'm not an R4. I'm an R3, uh, R2, or R1. I don't I don't care. I'm not in leadership. I you know, so no, uh, sorry. Um, so yes, you can attack. I didn't know there was a 30% uh, tax on that. So uh, sure, somebody can post it in global. Um, all right, see ya, expose. See ya. Thank you very much for stopping by, but. Like I said, this bank will be emptied out on a daily basis. So somebody can hit it, but we'll max out the vault. We'll do all the research. This this account will not produce like millions of ore an hour. This account will produce a little bit of everything. So we'll empty that account every day. All right. We'll, we'll take a look at the research as you can do. Of course, you need to get all, you know, all your... Um, uh, economy maxed out right that that is very simple because you got food harvesting timber harvesting stone vault management stuff like that um since we like monster hunting uh since we like uh, uh monster hunting we're gonna max this out because just for the fun of it right but we're not focusing on that we have done a lot here but that was basically because we ran out of researches to do we're not going to do anything defense wise um uh, this is an old account a very old account that started like a long, long time ago, wasn't used for over a year. So uh, that's why there's a little bit of defense research here. So there you go. Um, we got upgrade military. We haven't done anything here because it's not interesting. We're not gonna do anything in military. Yes, there is something done here, uh, but we're not gonna focus on, on that. But this is all old research. So defense is also nothing done here. We're gonna focus on, of course, economy. We're going to focus on army leadership because there is weight training, um, there is resource harvesting, and there is ration run, and a lot more. As you can see, uh, gold storage, max deposit, gold harvesting, bigger bags, tax break, force march. Those are the kinds of researches you're interested in, um, and more gatherers. So, um, who? somebody posted a gear check question. You're going to do... Gear? Sure, I, I can do gear checks. Um, that would probably be tomorrow. I don't have a lot of time to stream today, so I don't know. But we'll see. You know, we might do one or two or three if we if we get around to it. All right? I, I won't make any promises. Sorry about that. Uh, but if you have a special request, sure, I can do I can do, uh, I can can do do one. Yesterday, I didn't do gear check Sunday simply because, uh, one, I posted a video and then my internet just broke. So... I was spending all evening figuring out what was wrong. And there was nothing wrong except for with my internet provider. So there you go. Um, so this won't be interesting, the army leadership uh, bottom ones. But we're definitely going for the more gatherers, tax breaks, force march, bigger bags, you know, everything to get a discount for basically marching troops back and forth. Uh, what's up, Worthy? How are you doing, buddy? Enjoying your uh, brave hearts? <laughs> Use them already? Hmm. So, 
Access supplies, yep, we want that. Uh, food storage, yes, and here you go again. Military command, also storage, storage, storage. Uh, production, stamina limit. You want the alchemy as soon as this uh, guild starts uh, running rallies. Uh, you can join with your one troop. And, you know, one troop just takes like a couple seconds to build. Uh, you want to get down here to max deposit two. You want to have that as well. And then you're basically done. But the most important thing I want to talk to you guys about was the monster update. Because, of course, the new monsters are here. And they also provide production. A lot of production stuff. So gold or, you know, what do you need to focus on? So we just opened Oak Root, I see. So um, let's take a look at the monsters you want. If, if you're, if you're um, either a guild bank or you are a personal bank like this account is, uh, what's up, Alan Richardson? How are you doing, buddy? Thank you very much for joining the stream. Ah, uh, let's see. NHI? NHJ? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I can't pronounce your name, but I'll just call you NHJ or I, whatever it is. Sorry, small lettering. Um, but what we're talking about is the Guild Bank. What do you want to do with it? And um, which uh, monsters do you want to focus on? So let's take a look at them because they do add a lot of production options to your guild bank or your personal bank for, you know, whatever you need. Um, so let's take a look at all the monsters there are because it's very, uh, you know, it's a very big part of the bank right now. Wow, congratulations that he's already an adult. Let's see, my gnome is going to, uh, well, I just unlocked this <laughs> yesterday evening. So, uh, yeah, uh, so he's going up a couple levels. Let's see, level four, level five. Let's see how far up he goes. Oh, I just click uh, level six. All right, I'm going to put him back in. Why? Simply gold production. So this is a good example. So we got uh, the gnome, and you can go to your monster hole for people that didn't know that. A lot of, a lot of you already do. All right, see you, Leroy. Thank you very much for stopping by. Um... This one uh, gives a production boost. So you can get him up. First, you have to max him out to level 20 by training him in your gym. Um, you can also use uh, the runes to upgrade everything. But I wouldn't do that if I were you. So I'm just going to use these right now. There we go. Times two. And he's up. So this is his skill I'm upgrading right now. So it boosts his uh, gold production from 5% to 6.25%. Next one would be to 7.5%. Okay. As soon as he hits level 20 after maxing him out, I need five runes. Five of these to ma to upgrade him to his next stage. Basically, you can consider that as going from gray to green to blue to purple to gold with your heroes. Okay. What's up, XANTX Gaming? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Greek Hero? Thank you very much. It's all sacrifice a goat to. <laughs> all right, yeah. Um, so y you want to focus on your monsters because, especially as a bank, I've noticed that banks are basically getting a lot here it's easy for them to focus on heroes because they have like one purpose and that is produce 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 and there are a lot of heroes that produce in the lower stages of the packs so the top stages give you like army defense hp attack like weird skills which you do not need in a bank so you can perfectly well use the lower packs like pack one two and maybe three but let's take a look right um Let's take a look at the, the heroes that you can basically build for upgrading your bank or your resource production. Uh, no, I don't have to click here, I think. Packs. Yes, here we go. So, looking at uh, pack one, we got Territe. Territe wouldn't be interesting except for the merging of speed packs. So, yes. I would definitely upgrade this one, but he wouldn't have my priority. The other thing he gives is three fragments. So 
Is he interesting? Uh, for a bank, you would say no, but since you want fragments to upgrade your heroes, I would say yes. So definitely this one would be an interesting one. It wouldn't be my main focus, though. There we got Oak Root, which I just got. Would Oak Root be interesting? Yes, because he only produces timber. He gives you a timber production boost. Up to 25%. And to be perfectly honest, that's a lot. So he would definitely be interesting for me to get to... Well, he is stage elder because you cannot upgrade him. But I... Oh no, this is Max, uh, Max Preview, sorry. Um, he's, of course, a uh, level 1 monster. And he doesn't produce anything just yet. Maybe a couple percent. Let's see. Okay. Um, and then we got Magma Lord basically doing the same thing, only for stone. We got Engineer doing that for ore production. And we got Jazik Vault Storage. So we every hero in here we want. Take a look at Pack 4, for example. Is there any hero in here you want for your bank? Cavalry max HP, defense, max coalition size. Nope. You don't want him. Grim Reaper, we know you don't want him. There is no hero in here. Uh, except maybe Hoarder. Um, that gives you a max deposit boost. But I don't think it would make that big of a difference for a bank to have that many gems. So, yeah. Um, there we go. Uh, uh, that's just, you know, uh, level 5... Uh, a pack level 4 I wouldn't use at all. I wouldn't even unlock it. I wouldn't do the research for it. So let's take a look at pack 3. If there are any interesting monsters for pack 3. In a bank, never, you know, you don't have to unlock pack 4 unless you've done like all the heroes you've already done because there is no hero at pack 4 that boosts anything that has to do with production except for the one that produces uh, or gives you the opportunity to put more in your treasure trove. So that's it. Well, let's take a look at pack three. Uh, allied troop size, troop training speed. Nope. Nothing. Nostrus. Army capacity. Not interesting. Cavalry attack. Not interesting. Completes gathering for five random gathering armies. Well, this one is not going to gather. We don't care about gathering. Uh, because we don't have the time. We're sitting on our main, right? So this one gives you one to two thousand gems. So yeah, this one might be interesting. Gem and gremlin. Because he gives you gems. But that requires skill stones. So is it really interesting for a bank? I don't know. I don't know. It will probably cost too much. Then let's take a look at the goblin. Yes, he is interesting because he also boosts your gold production up to level 30, uh, up to 35%. So add that to the level 1 we just saw and it's 25 and 35. So you're already up to 60%. 60% gold boost for a maxed out uh, account. That's a huge boost, guys. If you consider, you know, old banks that only produce only produce gold, right? They're sort of gold hypers. Add 60% to that. Just from these two heroes. That's amazing. Uh, and that's something you can use for your T4 account or your T4 accounts, plural. So, uh, yeah, I, I've seen the Grim Reaper in action. There is, uh, Jody, there is a video out there uh, I don't, you know, that basically made me decide not to quit. I repeat, not to quit because it's just way too expensive. And they can hit you once and pay like, I don't know how many thousands of gems. And they can hit you once and they'll kill off 20,000 troops. So it's not worth it. I don't think anybody will use it. So uh, let's continue about uh, the monsters. Um... So let's take a look at the monsters again. Let's see, where was I? Yeah, here. So if you're an ore hyper, let's say you're an ore hyper bank, so it basically means you're producing gold and ore, you want to build the ore heroes. And as far as we know right now, looking at pack 1A, pack 3, and pack 4, um, we've seen so far one ore uh, monster and two gold monsters. So let's see if there's an ore monster in pack 3. Because I don't recall there being one. Um, since you're not doing a lot of research, the extra 5% research speed that um, Trickstar gives is not really interesting. Range attack 10%, not interesting. 
Um, grants three random holy star items for a bank. Um, no, no I, I don't consider this interesting to max out because it would cost you a lot. If you can, sure, in the long, 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 long run, sure. Um, then you got Magus or Magus, however you pronounce it. Um, you got Pack Merging plus five, which would be interesting, definitely interesting, um, but also not a priority. What's up, Corrupt Gamer? How are you doing? Thank you for joining this stream. Alter Stat Boots, not interesting for a bank. Again, research fills up help bar for ongoing research. Not interesting. Not for a bank. Um, and let's take a look at the last one at pack three. We got Mole Shaman that gives infirmary capacity, which is not interesting. Infantry attack 10%, also not interesting. And repairs 50%. So I would definitely start focusing on at least pack 1A and 1B. Let's take a look at pack 1B. Uh, you got Aquirus here. Aquarius gives you anima production, which is very interesting, um, and gets you STAs, which is also interesting, especially in the beginning of the game. If you get extra STAs, you can upgrade your heroes. Um, we'll get, get back to that because it's also very important if you're building a bank to build the right heroes, which is completely different than the heroes you would build if you were building a fighting account or a trap account, or, you know, you need to look at what heroes do you need to, uh, to get to gold as soon as possible. So this one, also very interesting, which is Terror Spike. For your normal account, not interesting at all because no one produces food except for a bank. So this one, this account will produce food and we can get up to 25% more than we could before. So that's a boost, right? So that's a good thing for banks. I think this entire update is more interesting for banks than for regular players because if you actually want to do something with those attacks, like using the Grim Reaper, you have to pay that amount of money, that giant amount of gems to basically use it once, I don't think it will be a big addition to the uh, game in the long run. I, I really don't. That is my opinion. I don't know if you guys feel uh, anything any different, but you produce food, well then you probably don't have any troops. <laughs> you just got your fourth Watcher Medal for your new account. Cor congratulations, Corrupt Gamer. Very happy, very happy. Um, then we got Gnome. Well, Gnome is, you know, everybody knows Gnome. It's a gold producing one. Beastmaster, what does he do? Supply troops, travel speed. Not interesting. Um, then we got Yeti. Yeti gives gathering troop travel speed. Also for a bank, if it's not managed by one person, like as a main account, <clears throat> not interesting because you're not going to sit there and send out gathering troops all the time because you don't have any troops to gather with Otherwise, you wouldn't be food neutral or not food neutral enough. Um, so let's take a look at pack two. So now we've figured out that uh, pack four doesn't give you any boost. Pack three gives you one boost, and that's gold. Uh, pack one and two, uh, pack one A and one B gives you give you a lot of boost on your bank account, right? So let's take a look at pack 2A and 2B because we've seen that we've so far we've seen ore producing monsters and we've seen uh, gold producing we've seen two gold producing monsters and we've seen um, other resources producing monsters but only one of them. So let's see what's in pack 2 whether it's interesting. <clears throat> we got uh, pack 2B we're looking at Pyrus what does Pyrus do? Extra supplies of 20%. Um, does anybody know what that means? What kind of supplies? Is that giving you the... Can you send more supplies to somebody? Or will you get more supplies once you get burned? Or something along those lines. Reduces transmutation time by 10%. Not really interesting for a bank, right? And there you have it. It's basically uh, Grim Reaper's little brother. Um, so that's not interesting. As far as I can see, it's not really interesting. Sent extra RSS to players. Okay. Um... Let's see. Um, ah, okay. Okay, well, we'll figure it out someday because this account will get burned someday for sure, but it doesn't matter because we won't have any troops and we can burn it and find out in the long run. So we've seen that there are no additional... Did, did I go out of pack 2B too soon? Yes, I did. So let's take a look at Bonehead. Anima storage, not really interesting. Uh, 10 Colosseum entries, also not really interesting because you're not focusing on your heroes for Colosseum. You're focusing on your heroes 
for um, production, basically. Then here we got ore producing, 35%. So we got one in pack A and one, and we got one in pack two. So that's 50% you can produce extra before you could... 50% uh, extra if you compare that to prior to the update, right? No, no, no. Support things don't need uh, skill stones. No. Um, it's very easy to see. You see this little dragon head here on the on the right? That requires skill stones. I think that is what I've seen so far, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Okay. Well, here we got Boulder. And Boulder is very interesting because you want to get your construction up as soon as possible. And he also produces stone. So, again, 35% and a construction... Uh, well, he maxes out the hell bar for ongoing constructions, but that helps if you're sitting in an alt guild where you don't get a lot of helps. Um, and Pyrus, we've covered them all. No, let's do um, Harpy as well. Shelter capacity. Not interesting with one troop. Get three random VIP point items. Well, the VIP points aren't that interesting for a bank. So there you go. Sorry, you said what? Okay, so um, a lot of these um, are permanent effects. So that means like, same as with your heroes, you have um, heroes that you need to equip to basically have their stats. And there are heroes like Trickster, my biggest friend, right? Um, Trickster only has skills that he uses even when not equipped as your leader or on your wall because they're administrative boosts. Everything here is an ad administrative boost if it doesn't say, um, if it doesn't show this little dragon face. So this one gives allied troops travel speed of 25%, no matter what. If I want to use this one, it requires something, at least, whether it's skill stones or not. If a skill requires a skill stone, it will say requires skill stone when you click it. For example, when you click Pyrus, attack skill support. All right, then I'm curious to see what the dragon is. Maybe because there's a cooldown period on it, the blue dragon, that, that it says that. So uh, good to know, worthy. Good to know. And as you can see, uh, it also says here, permanent effect. And let's see if we can find a difference. Support skill. I think that's the difference. Yeah, on the same monster. So here you can see, it's a, it's the difference is support skill and permanent effect. So permanent effect is energy regeneration speed of, of maximum of 10%. Um, this, you will get it anyway. You don't have to do anything for it. There is no refresh time on it. They, you don't need skill stones, nothing. It's just a permanent effect. Wall defense of 20%. Um, for T4 as Vegeta, that uh, would be very interesting because he's, uh, I think he's a wall trap, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, there you go. And we got Strix, for example, which to me is one of the coolest heroes there is looking. Um, and you, she doesn't add anything to my game. Execution wait time by 360 minutes, who cares? Like if there's 360 minutes left, that's what, uh, six hours? Um, nobody's interested in reduction of six hours come on uh, infirmary healing speed of 25 percent sure that would be interesting if you're a big fighter but for a bank not so much uh we got totempest which is probably timber production yes as i figured and ship ahoy refreshes the cargo ship immediately can be used once a day so there you see guys and and that is most important to me i wanted to show you all that it is the um, I don't think personally for my main account that the new familiars have any added value to the game actually, besides getting more researches done and, and more buildings to, to build, which increases a little bit of fun. Maybe in the long, long run, it will add something, you know, more fighting because people produce more. But for banks, this is like very, very, very interesting to do. So that's why I wanted to make this video and talk to you guys about it. Um, so for guild banks, uh, for, 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 uh, guild banks, for, um, personal banks, 
this is a very, very, very interesting update. So I would definitely, if you have a bank, make sure you unlock all of this and focus on those heroes, whether it be a guild bank or a personal bank. Here I went for the setup of 4-3-1. Uh, Why? Because this account will not have a lot of um, heroes in it. And the amount of heroes or golden heroes will definitely um, boost the speed which I can upgrade my gnome with or any other hero for that matter. So since it won't be a lot of them, it won't happen very quickly. I uh, won't be rushing anything because I don't have a lot of speed ups in this account or uh, I'm not buying anything in this account. It's just a bank for, for that matter. So uh, I think the best setup is uh, 431 in this in this uh, account uh, we will definitely get that up pretty soon but we're now mainly focusing on getting the castle up to level 25 yes we are rushing to castle level 25 why simply because we can get everything up to level 25 production 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 that is what we want to do with this account but we are going to do that quite evenly so we're not going to get everything like every little building up to 24, 22, 21. But we'll go along as we figure this thing out. We'll, we'll change and adapt as we figure this thing out. Because as soon as uh, Missy also starts uh, pumping out T4 troops, yeah, resources will go a lot faster. So I would definitely, we, we would definitely need to be ready by then. So we're gonna make sure that the production is pretty high before we are going to actually use it. As you can see, the production right now is uh, nothing. So, um, as you can see, it produces uh, 20,000 food, 19,000 stone, 18,000 wood, and 16,000 ore, and 10,000 gold. It's not a lot, but know that we just started this like a week ago or two weeks ago. Um, so we're getting there pretty quickly. Now, last thing I want to talk to you guys about is the heroes and why. Um, I'm going to focus on Trickster first, and you might want to think, why? Um, In-game meal? Alright, I'll check it out later. Um, okay, if somebody wants a gear check, sure, we can do that after we talk about heroes, and then I'm going to wrap it up for today. But, um, heroes... Definitely, um, we're going to start Trickster first. Trickster first, why? Because we want to get that research boost, right? And since we also are doing monster hunting for the gifts, it's fun. You know, it's something we both like to do. So that's why we're doing that as a side thing, basically. So um, then we're going for Stage of Storms because of the construction boost, because we want everything up. After that, guys, if you have a bank, just go and look what heroes are available. So... Let's take a look at Death Knight, for example. And I'm not going to go and go through every hero because you guys are smart enough to check this out. All right, see ya. See ya, Corrupt Gamer. Thank you very much for stopping by. Um, but let's take a look at Death Knight, for example. Just click on him if you don't have him. If you do, uh, go check this out. It says stone production 150% at gold. So that's maxed out. So definitely I want that. So do we have anything that produces anything else? We got gold production, 150%. So Fold, Soul Forger is interesting. Death Knight is interesting. And I think there was one that also produces food. I think it was... Uh, no, here it is. Elementalist. 225%, guys. 225% additional. So we're definitely going for those heroes. We're going to talk to each other and, you know, think up the best plan. Which heroes do we want to use first? We're also going to take into consideration, like, hero stages. Because you have to get the hero stages to get of course the heroes to gold so we're definitely gonna first lay out like which heroes will give a boost and which heroes are best for uh the hero stages so yeah all right now well that's good to know mohammed i didn't know those stats yet but um if you are building a bank be sure to check your heroes out because not just about heroes but i get uh, questions a lot of uh, well a lot i get a lot of questions about uh, should I build this gear or should I build this gear? Guys, if you want to know what gear to build or what troops to uh, boost, sure, you can talk and ask about strategy. Um, but if you want to know which heroes to push or you want to know what gear to build, if you know where you 
what you're going for, like troop composition wise, um, then you would also definitely know what gear to build. But for farming, uh, you know, there's production gear. Uh, you can go look at production gear. We're definitely going to build production gear as well. There's a lot of production gear and it's, you know, if you want to know about gear stuff, just go go here to your workshop. It's, it's not that hard. Go to all equipment. Now, let's say I want to boost gold production. So uh, let's see if there is any gold production helmet. Yes, there are. Well, the bottom two I'm not going to invest in because those are champion gear. Then we got a main hand. Nothing. Offhand, Griffin's Talon. All right. Chest piece, Lightning Guard. Sure, we can get this one up by monster hunting. Boots, the Dwarven Toe Guard, definitely. And then we got the rings. And which one gives the best boost at 22.5% 20, is the highest boost, I think. Nope, we got 35% here from the Fear Drum and 50% from the Frostwing's Breath. So there we go. Yeah. There are two heroes for each. Okay. I'm not leaving LMAO. Oh, all right. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, I'm not really focusing on the chat today as much as I used to, but that's because I don't have a lot of time today. I definitely want to wrap up the stream. Let's see. Um, I didn't get any mail. Uh, let's see if I have some mail. Uh, let me change my screen for a little bit, guys. So I can hop into my own account and I don't want any stuff visible so i'm gonna basically shut shut out my screen for a little bit so i can switch accounts if you don't mind waiting for just a couple seconds so i can switch accounts right uh, because there is a little bit of personal information in here i had it hooked up to a personal facebook account which i'm currently changing uh, i don't want it on my personal facebook account anymore um i want it on a gmail account and you know just uh i don't know mr bp gaming at gmail.com or you know, something non-personal, right? Hmm. All right, I gotta put my legs up again. Sorry guys, one second. <sighs> Sorry, I have to do this, doctor's orders. Um, so let's change back to my main account. I did, screen is back, there we go. Let's see if we got some mail. Oh, uh, this is what I'm building right now, Malicious Saw, because I have my chest piece of the Mecha Trojan to gold. So I'm basically now building the Malicious Saw, which is perfect for infantry attack. But this is a long run piece of gear. We got one meal. All right, there we go. Now, so we're going to wrap it up quickly today. <clears throat> uh, is my gear good for my level? Thank you. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, your gear is great. You're building the right stuff. Not level 60 yet. Uh, maybe the Lunar Scimitar instead of the Frostwing Shield as your offhand. I don't know if you can equip that yet. Um, and yes, definitely go for the Lost Island Relics and the, the chest piece and headpiece. I think the main hand Fiery Tomahawk to gold, it's, you know, as soon as you have that to gold, if you don't already, I would definitely switch that out. But other than that, no, you're, you're doing great. You're doing great, absolutely. You got fiery tomahawk to green. All right. Um, well, you know, is that you, Penny Knight Junior? Is that you, corrupt gamer? Okay. Well, if that's you, then then yeah, don't change it out just yet. But as soon as you get it to gold, or as soon as it passes, basically the stats that you have on your main hand right now, and swap it out. All right. Good to know. Good to know. So I would definitely uh, swap that one out in the long run if it's better. Okay. Um, yeah, that will be it for this stream, I guess. So as I always say, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Special shout out to Jody for being my first donator. I appreciate it very, very much. So special shout out for you in this stream. I appreciate all of you. Thank you very much for watching. This is Mr. BP. Signing out.